in gaming there's many things that's iconic to find in a game the characters the places the lore the backstory but one thing in a lot of games you find is that iconic weapons are the very thing that people identify to the, each game that's why this week we're doing the top 10 iconic gaming weapons <laughs> Now, starting off at number 10, the Cerebral Ball. Ooh, now this was a fun weapon. Introduced in Turok 2 on the N64, short, sweet, and simple. Lock on for a few seconds and fire, and then watch the ball drill its way into the skull, then into the brain before exploding the head into lots of pieces all around you. Ah, bliss. And at number 9, the Gravity Gun from the Half-Life series. Why spend time trying to find bullets and all kinds of things to fight with when you've got a weapon that can pick up anything and turn it into a weapon? Being able to pick up, as I said, almost anything and fire at high speed of enemies? Well, there's the example. Being chased down a corridor? Pick up a box and smash him in the face. Want to do it with a bit more fun or blood? Pick up a cutting blade and cut his head off. The choice is yours with the gravity gun in your hands. Number 8. The Drill from the Bioshock series. Now, this weapon was a weapon that came with a twist. Oh, yeah, I had to. But taken from Big Daddy's Armory, this is the weapon that, as long as you're pumped up with fuel, you can smash, bore, stab, whatever you like to ram a hole into spices, left, right, and center. Along with the Big Daddy, the drill became the most iconic weapon for the series, as well as those fun little plasmids, of course. In at number seven, the Hidden Blade from the Assassin's Creed series. Now, uh, many things are associated with the Assassin's Creed series. Hoods, cloaks, Templars, and stupidly big jumps into little boxes of hay. But the most iconic thing the series has always had for the Assassins and some of the Templars is their favourite weapon, the Hidden Blade. With a flick of the wrist, your target finds a long blade buried in their body and you can count them out. You can also use it from anywhere, from below, from above, popping out of a bush, or popping out of a haystack. It's the perfect weapon for the blade in the crowd. In at number 6, the Buster Sword from Final Fantasy 7. Now primarily seen as a Final Fantasy 7 weapon in the hands of the ex-soldier Cloud Strife, this incredibly oversized sword has not just become an icon for the game, but for the series as well. And for many people that cannot name any of the characters or any of the games in the series, they'll always be able to recognise this slab of a weapon. Number 5 lightsabers various Star Wars games what else could be said here an elegant weapon for a more civilized age now the first thing that falls into someone's mind before the mighty Darth Vader himself from the franchise is the swoosh and the light of a lightsaber being able to take these iconic weapons out into battle for yourself has always been a pleasure as the force is strong in this one yeah at number four the golden gun from GoldenEye 64 Ah, now many iconic guns landed with different names in GoldenEye, including the iconic Walther PPK itself that Bond carried, renamed the PP7. But the golden gun from the movie? Who wouldn't want to handle that? Picked up in the Aztec Extra level and even having its own game mode in multiplayer, the man with the golden gun mode, this became the weapon that all Nintendo Bonds were looking for. At number 3, the BFG. Now, from the Doom series, this was a really close one, nearly being beaten out by the iconic Super Shotgun, but just as much love as everybody has, the BFG, well, you know, the big, f well, you know the rest. Every Doom game's had that one defining moment where everybody takes a moment to relish in the glory of knowing they've received this iconic weapon from this iconic series, and just watching that green ball travel across whilst everything disintegrates, it's only a little bit of pleasure for the game series. In at number two, the blue shell from the Mario Kart series. Loved by some and hated by so, so many. Those who have played any of the Mario Kart games will be able to tell you a nightmare story or two when they came so close to just coming into winning only to find that damn blue shell to take them out just before they reached the line and cost them that first place. This weapon became iconic through its sure, sure pain that's left on so many gamers. 
and in at number one <clears throat> the master sword from the legend of zelda series now no matter what world you're in whatever version of link you're playing as one thing remains the same in every legend of zelda game the story is the same to defeat the greatest evil you need the greatest sword in this case the legendary sword now many versions of the master sword have been put into the series but the principle has always been the same it's the sword that seals away the darkness and people who do or don't play the series always know at least the boy in green and the really cool sword that he carries with him well that was my top 10 iconic gaming weapons let me know what you think do you agree with my list do you have your own weapons you'd put in there and if you want tune in next week for another episode of top 10s exactly the same time where we'll be covering the top 10 mega drive or genesis if you like games as requested by catagon 619 so dodge those shells reload that page and would you kindly hit that button for notifications on all the latest content thanks very much i'll see you out there and as always thanks for watching the video guys i hope you liked it also, if you want to stay up to date as well, another way is you can catch me on Facebook, the address just there on the screen. And of course, for more videos, you just look to your left there, you can see that will be one of the latest videos that's landed. And to the right here is a video picked by YouTube just for you. And of course, hit the guy in the middle to subscribe if you haven't already, stay up to date on all the latest content.